Hi! In this video I'm going to show how you can turn an Arduino Nano into a dump terminal that you can hook up to a VGA monitor or TV and have it display text data basically like a console. If that sounds interesting, let's get started. So why would you want to build such a device? Well, for me there were two reasons. First, I wanted to learn more about video signals and also about how terminals work. And secondly, I have developed my own minimalistic computer system on breadboards here and it needed an output terminal. And since I can't call myself the lucky owner of such a classic here and since I didn't want to use a small LCD either, I came up with this alternative. In my first two videos about my Arduino VGA card, I have already shown how you can get an Arduino to output a stable video signal by using only three simple logic ICs and some tricks. If you haven't seen it, I recommend to check out the links in the description. The Arduino displays a whopping 40 by 25 characters, but how can we get it to actually process our input data like a terminal? This can get pretty tricky since the Arduino then has to perform the two tasks simultaneously while maintaining rock solid timing. It turns out that our little friend here has just enough processing power to manage it. The task is to make our VGA card receive text input and also accept so called escape sequences. Now what are escape sequences and why do we need them? Well, if we send data to a terminal characters usually only get displayed at the current cursor position, like you can see here. We have basically no control over where exactly our input appears on the screen, that's not very flexible. Escape sequences come to the rescue here. They have been standardized by the American National Standards Institute since the mid-1970s. Today this standard is widely used in every Linux console. It was agreed upon that various code sequences shall trigger additional functions inside the terminal. We'll only make use of this small subset here. The first two characters are always escape or ASCII code 27 followed by a square bracket. XX denotes any decimal number like 20 or 4. So escape square bracket H moves the cursor to the top left of our screen and escape square bracket J clears the VRAM from the cursor position downwards. So these control sequences already allow us to implement some all-time classics on this Arduino VGA terminal. But what hardware do we actually need to add to make the Arduino receive ASCII data? Well, in addition to this Arduino VGA signal generator I've already described in detail, we simply add a terminal input register. Let us use two of these quad D-type flip-flops for this task. To write data into this register, we apply the data to the input pin D. Then set the input enable line E active low and apply a rising edge at the clock input. We can output the stored data to Q by setting output enable OE to low. And we have a master reset MR that clears the register content. Let's put it all together. The data lines encoding our ASCII input are shown in green here on the right. Again, to write data into the register, we need to set the E line low and apply a rising edge to the clock pin. At the start of each horizontal sync pulse, the Arduino now enables the output of this register and reads its content via the yellow lines, which are not needed during the sync pulse. This is done by switching the corresponding Arduino pins D0 to D7 to input mode and by enabling the outputs of the two 74HC173s. If we received a non-zero input value, the Arduino stores it in a buffer and clears the register by activating the master reset MR shown in brown down here. The VGA horizontal gap is too short to actually process our input. But at the end of each frame we have some time left. Here we can scan the input buffer for escape sequences, transfer input data to the VRAM or even scroll our VRAM if necessary. 
Please note that we are communicating with our VGA card in an asynchronous way. Thus, we have to make sure we never write data into the register faster than the Arduino can read it out. The maximum transfer rate is determined by the frequency of the VGA horizontal zinc signal, happening every 32 microseconds. So, as long as we ensure that we are not writing any faster, we can be sure that the Arduino processes our data and clears the register before we write the next character. The actual implementation of all this is really tricky and time-critical code and works right on the edge of the Arduino's capabilities. We need to make sure that in all branches of the code the VGA timing remains stable. All this while we use several timers and interrupts. I have released the source code on GitHub, so go and have a look. The link is in the description. And I hope that all this really makes it easy to use an Arduino as a VGA terminal for whatever project or application you might have in mind. As I've said, I've built this VGA terminal mainly for my home-built minimalistic CPU. There's a video series about it, so go check it out. If you like this content and want to see more, please consider subscribing and leave a thumbs up. Take care. Bye.